so this is the box that i have received and it's completely sealed once you open the seal you can see that the packaging is done quite well so it's quite securely come yeah and i'm going to open this and this is you can see what you can see is the small grinder and yeah i'm going to be removing it so this is the small grinder and you can see that this is a very small this is like just 1.25 liters which is quite perfect for me so this was some pouch that was hanging uh, right here uh, it was stuck over there so i'm going to open and see what it is so this must be the warranty card i believe or the bill something so yeah so this is the bill of it and it says uh, it is for 5521 rupees um and i guess if we have to do the warranty we will have to do it online um okay so it's given everything in this bill so this bill needs to be kept properly see that this is the user guide and the warranty card this needs to be kept very safely because in case if there is any replacement or uh, if there is any uh, fault that needs to be corrected then you need this warranty card for it so this is going to give you all the details regarding the grinder they they have mentioned their site here that is um, lgultra.com and you can shop for the accessories on their site then uh, it also gives us a uh, certain details about this grinder that is the stone weight is 1.7 kg so it's got 5 years of warranty that is good and the net weight of this grinder is 8.8 kg then the rotation per minute of the stone is 1350 uh, rotation per minute so the, all this information and much more is uh, been given in this user manual and uh, also the warranty terms and the conditions have been explained well you can go through this uh, it is must to go through the user manual before uh, starting on to the appliance so just don't believe on the demonstration that is given in the video please read the user manual it is of utmost importance it's going to give you more additional information that might not be added in the video uh, so i just request everyone to go through the user manual before um, you know starting on the appliance so uh, this is the cover of it this is the small grinder and what all it does the wet grinder with uh, pa with patented conal stone for soft and nutritious at least so the this grinder is got special types of stones um they are in cone shape i'll be showing that to you so uh, this this has been patented so that is the speciality of this grinder and that's the reason why i've got this um first is the small shape of it and i felt like the um the vessel can be easily kept into the fridge and uh, also because of the conal grinders the stones that are there then uh, it has got some additional attachments which you can also buy from amazon that is the coconut scraper and this is the art, uh, ata need uh, needer so i have not got this attachment at the moment but i'm soon i'm going to buy them so that is pretty much there on the box and then here uh, it's like the manufacturing and the customer care number everything is given so this box needs to be kept properly and um, i think this box needs to be kept uh, uh, in your storage because if you are shifting also this box would be of some use to you okay so now we are going to move on to the grinder so guys you can see that this is my grinder and uh, uh, you can see it is in a very small shape like small size this is 1.25 liters and uh, i'll be showing you how it is actually there so uh, we can just remove this lid we can remove that lid and 
this is like we can it can be removed so guys uh, this was the top this is the top lid of this you can just remove it and then uh, you can see that the stones of this grinder are cone shape i'm going to show it to you again here there is like a small button in black color and when you press that so just press it and uh, this thing comes out so it is very handy guys not like the usual grinder you can see the cones uh, these are the patented uh, cones the stones of this so it's this is what makes this grinder unique and then this is the start button this is on and off button here so we can easily close this yeah and then lock it and uh, if you want you can lock it from the top as well so now i will be uh, demonstrating how actually the grinding works in this now you can see that i have uh, plugged in the wire and uh, before i actually grind my uh, uh, idli batter in this what i'm going to do is that i've taken this uh, rice and i've just uh, added some water in it so in order to clean this grinder what i do is i'm just going to uh, use this rice and some water and then throw it off so you i recommend everyone to do this uh, because because uh, this is going to clean the grinder and all the stones the extra stones that are there they will also be washed away and um, that way your first idli batter that you're going to grind would be safe so now i'm going to start grinding so you can see that it has started to grind so i'm just going to keep this for a couple of minutes and then come back and grind my idli batter Uh, so now i have kept this for 5 minutes and um, it is um, like i feel like the lower part of the grinder is being cleaned properly so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this vessel i'm going to be removing this vessel and wash it off and then grind my idli batter so i'll come back wash it and then start grinding my idli batter now i have washed uh, this and i've got this now i'm going to be fixing it here and the cone part as well yeah and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this uh, rice which has been washed and soaked at night along with these methi seeds so i'm going to be adding it here and then start grinding so i'll just add this rice so now uh, i have added some rice here i'll be gradually adding the rice so i'm going to close this and uh, press this button and the grinding has started they say that uh, the grinding will be done slightly a sooner in this machine because of the unique shape that is got and also the idlis will come out softly so we need to check on that as well so the grinding has started at the moment and this is the rice grinding that i'm going to do and then i will do the uh, dal grinding the urad dal grinding so uh, these stones are moving very speedily and it's very convenient to uh add things in that because of its unique shape and i really love this uh, press kind of handle and um, uh, like in our usual uh, grinders we'll have to remove the knob open the knob that is like you know really frustrating but i like this mechanism over here so i'm going to leave this for grinding and add some water gradually um so you'll see that and then we'll check on the batter after some time so it's uh, been only 3 minutes now uh, but uh, i can see like lot of rice has been grounded i'm going to add some water in this okay and leave it like this for about 10 to 15 minutes 
and check on the rice again uh, well while the rice is done you can uh, if you feel like a little bit of rice is up is come up means you can uh, do it from with the spatula or else uh, you can just add some water and it will again go down and to secure this if uh, you're working somewhere while doing this means you can secure it and close the lid of this uh, so I'm gonna check on this batter now uh, it's almost been seven minutes so I'm going to take this spatula and check on this batter here so yeah uh, the batter is slightly coarse so I'm gonna leave it for another five minutes and then uh, get this off well now it's been uh, three to four minutes have passed away and I'm gonna check on the batter again so this can be done with the help of the spatula guys do not put in your hands inside like uh, there is a chance that you may you know get hurt so I'm quite convinced with this uh, batter so I'm going to stop this right now so here I've stopped it and I'm going to take it out into a bowl and then start grinding my dal batter oh so I'm going to remove this by pressing the knob here so it comes out very easily and then you can just remove this very easily so uh, there is another thing here yeah this is uh, being used to clean the stone so we can keep this on my vessel Yeah, and I'm going to remove this. So I will quickly remove the stone and keep it on this. So you can see that this is another attachment that has been given. It can be easily kept on any of the containers. And then you can uh, keep your grind, uh, the stones, conical stones on it. And uh, remove the excess from it. Okay. So this is some extra attachment that has been given with this grinder. Now I am going to be pouring in the batter. Uh, so because of this extra attachment that has been given it makes life quite easy so I am pouring in the batter from the side into my container and now after this I'll be grinding my dal now I'm going to be placing the stones back here uh, into the grinder so I placed, I'm placing the stones back into the grinder. Yeah. And I'll be adding the dal that I have soaked. So this is the dal that I have soaked and uh, I'm adding this dal right now. And then I'll start grinding this dal. I'll leave it for about 10 minutes. Uh, the rice has taken me almost uh, 15 to 18 minutes for grinding and it's done quite fine and nice so i've added the dal in this and now i'm going to be locking this up yeah so this will be locked yeah and then I'm going to start the grinder and it has started grinding the dal. So now I'm adding some water here in this dal and I'm pouring in all the dal because my dal is just uh, one cup and my rice was like almost uh, four cups. So I've added in completely this dal and I'm going to leave it for about 10 to uh, 10 
10 to 12 minutes and then come back and check on this now it's been almost 7 minutes I'm going to check on the batter here the dal, the urut dal batter with the help of the spatula so uh, it's, it's quite fine but I'm going to still leave it for another minutes and then going to remove off this batter. Now I'm going to be stopping the grinder so by pressing the stop button. So I have stopped the grinder here and I'm going to uh, remove this lid and then I'm going to be opening up this by pressing the knob here the black knob there and it easily comes off now we can just mimic the same uh, procedure that we've previously done remove the stones of the grinder and uh, quickly place them on this extra fitting that has been provided and uh, let the batter drop, drop from there you can also remove the batter from the spatula and then pour uh, the dal batter back into the vessel so i'm going to be pouring the uh, dal batter so i have poured this dal batter here into this vessel and i'm going to mix both the batters and leave them for fermentation after that, uh, after 8 hours, I'll be making steamed idlis and dosa with this batter. And then we'll check how the quality of the idli and the dosa has come. Also, after 8 hours of fermentation, I will uh, show you how the batter has been fermented. Well, I am cleaning this grinder with the cloth. Okay. So, I'm just going to leave it like this and I wash the vessel as well as the uh, grinder stone and left it for drying after that what I do is I'm going to mix this batter well so I'm going to be mixing this batter thoroughly you can do this with a wooden spatula as well or the spatula that has been provided by them so mix the batter properly and leave it for fermentation in a dry and a warmer place you can also warm your oven a little bit if at all you are in a colder climate means you can warm the oven and then leave it leave the batter there for fermentation or uh, there like there are some devices which promote uh, like help into fermentation of curd as well as these kind of batters so you can use those devices for fermentation as well so I'll meet you after the batter is getting is got fermented. I had left the batter for fermentation for about seven and a half to eight hours, and uh, I'll just check on it now. So you can see that the batter has been very well fermented, and I'm going to be mixing this batter well with the spatula, and then uh, making idlis out of that. Now I'm going to mix this batter, and the batter is done very well. So I'll mix the batter and add salt to it and then start doing my idlis with it. Now the idlis are getting steamed in this vessel and uh, I'm going to take it off in 15 to 20 minutes and let's see how soft the idlis are. Well idlis are all done and idlis are very soft and uh, mouth melting. I've already tasted few of them. So I'm going to add some ghee on to our idlis. That's how we like it here. So, and I'll be serving it along with the egg curry. Yeah, so uh, it's all done. And uh, we are quite happy with the results that this grinder has given us. we are quite happy with this product that is called as the ultra dura plus wet grinder i will be sharing the link of this product uh, from the description box you can check the price there 
Uh, however, I would not keep you in, uh, in any surprise. I will just tell you what price I have purchased it for. I have purchased this 1.25 liter uh, of this grinder for uh, 5,521 from Amazon. The link will be shared in the description box. You can click there and check. And guys, let me also tell you that sometimes there are discounts. So the price may vary for you. I would also like to uh, tell you that these uh, Ultra Company also provides us with mixer grinder, then pressure cooker. Here the picture is. It's called as the Ultra Diet Cooker. <coughs> then the gas stove, and something special I felt in this gas stove is that the knobs were on the right hand side. Then the chocolate grinder so this is the chocolate grinder i believe so uh, this is also been um, provided by this company i'm going to be sharing you the links of all these products you can check them from the description box well guys if at all you have liked this video please do not forget to give it a big thumbs up and uh, do subscribe to my channel share this video with your uh, friends and family and I'm going to be meeting you in the next video. So bye for now